Hi, my name is Brian from Science World. Today we're going to show you a fun demonstration of movement and collisions that you can do at home. Now, all you need are two different sized balls. Normally, if we take these two balls, we drop them from the same height at the same time, and they hit the ground at the same time. Now you can collide them together. A little ball hitting a big ball doesn't move it too much. A big ball hitting a littler ball will move it a little further. We'll give it a fair amount of momentum. Momentum is how we describe how much movement an object has. Now here is a little experiment for you. What would happen if we put the little ball on top of the bigger ball? Now when the big ball hits the ground, it wants to bounce back up, but there's a little ball in the way. So it will transfer some of its movement, its momentum, into the smaller ball. Well, let's watch. By themselves, little ball bounces that high, big ball bounces this high, but you put the two together, we transfer a lot of momentum into this smaller ball. Now, we encourage you to be curious about this at home, but do be careful and be safe. Be aware of other people around you, and if you're trying the bouncing ball, don't put your face right here. I'll leave you to figure out why. Now, how can we do these kind of collisions in a larger way? Let's go to our center stage and find out. We're going to look at the Newton's Cradle. This is what we use to demonstrate collisions and momentum. We take one ball of momentum coming in, one ball out. If we take two balls, we can either have one ball come out twice as fast, or two balls come out at the same speed. Let's see. Two balls in, two balls out. With three balls in, there's only two balls left. Three balls in, one of them keeps on going, three balls out. One ball in, one ball out, two balls in, two balls out, three balls in, three balls out, four balls in. You can make a prediction. Four balls out. And the highly metaphysical five balls in, five balls out. And that's how we experiment with momentum and collisions. For more fun experiments you can try at home, visit our resources website.